will mark, I guess, the results and uh, the performance you wanted. Yeah, I think both. I think you're. Uh, I think you're right. I think first half we we obviously got an early goal, which helped to settle everybody if they needed settling. Um, the goalkeepers dropped it on Ellis's head and given Ellis a boost of confidence and he'd not scored a hat-trick until last week and now he's got two. I think it was a brilliant hat-trick. I thought the the left foot shot first time was a, a brilliant take. You know, goalkeeper was wrong footed, he just couldn't get there quick enough because he hit it so well. And the third one was was brilliant play down the left hand mm. side, good ball in. Nice set. I think Hadji sets the ball and and his pick out the far corner was was outstanding. You know, and that's what he's capable of doing. You know, I think um, it should give him the world of confidence. Supporters singing his name the way they were was was fantastic too. Um, he is calm, doesn't show his emotions that often, yeah. um, but he'll be delighted with it. That's for sure, and um, and I'm pleased with him as well. I think I'm pleased for him. I think um, Joel Latibodier's goal was a really good goal. Well worked, good ball in from Bidders. He's got above the crossbar. I think to head that in, it was a great leap. And put us in total control really into the second half, and you know as is sort of normal. You see it with teams; you either t mentally take your foot off the gas, or the opposition come out and, and have a right good go. And they came out and had a right good go in the second half. Um, and we kept the ball okay. There's a little bit more sort of um, more turnovers in the game in the second half, but you know essentially we kept the clean sheet, kept them at bay most mostly with some really good defending, some good positioning, more aggressive, um, with some real quality as well. The goal that Fabio scored was was outstanding. We managed to change people around, got got some um, changing personnel. Milan came on, Callum O'Hare comes on, Matty Godden comes on, Kai Andrews, you know, so we get some um, you know, a little bit more energy in and conserve some energy in others. But like I say it was a yeah, it was a really professional performance, and and to get five goals is uh, is really pleasing. Yeah. Well, Jake, that was nicely wrapped up by half time tonight. Yeah, no, um, we we had an emphasis in, in the dressing room before the game, making sure we started well. Obviously, the last two league games, especially, we haven't we haven't done that. We've been behind early, so um, and there was a real focus on starting well tonight, having a solid platform to build on, and um, you know didn't think we were going to be four 0 up so early, but. Um, Boys come out flying to be fair to them, and um, yeah, the, the game was pretty much done by half time. Yeah. And was that a tactic that Mark set you up with to get balls into the box? Because certainly the first four, they all seemed to to involve a ball going into the box to sort of put their uh, defenders under the pressure. Um, yeah, we play with two strikers. Um, you know, as, as big as as um, Hadji and Alisson, you know, and obviously good with the feet as well, but. You know the um, the real presence in the box, and it can cause problems. You know, um, it wasn't the, the sole game plan, but you know, we, we said before the game, the three lads playing at the back for them probably weren't out and out centre half. So you know, to, to test them in all ways early on, really. So um, yeah, the um, yeah first one was a bit fortunate to say the least, but you know, a couple of good goals after that as well. Yeah, I think the keeper. I, I, you know, I've spoken to press that cover Rotherham uh, a lot, yeah. and they say actually, if anyone's due a, a bad game, it's going to be him, and he can get away with it because he's uh, won them enough points uh, this season. Uh, I'm guessing you didn't expect your cross to have such a such an effect. Yeah, no, it was obviously a poor cross, being in all honesty. But sometimes you get them. That's a bit of luck you you get, I suppose, from time to time. So um, it set us up nicely. Um, so the, the lads were really ruthless and put the put the right chances away as well. And you were taking corners as well from the right hand side. Would you have taken one from the left? Because I think they all came from the right today. Uh, no, that wasn't the plan. I don't think. But I have taken them there before. You know, it's a responsibility I, I, I like to take on when when chosen. Obviously, we've got a few different options. But you know, we, we worked on a couple yesterday. Um, pretty much the exact one that went in. To be fair, so. You know, then sets us up for the attacking set pieces, and when something comes off that you work on, it's um, obviously very pleasing. Yeah, and Ellis <coughs> Sims, a man on fire, two hat tricks in the last two home games. Yeah, no, he's, um, everyone's made up for him. Um, I think I said earlier on in a in an interview, he probably hadn't scored as many goals as he would have liked, but seems to be flying in from him now. I'm not sure if it was his second or his third one. I thought it was a really, really good finish from the edge of the box. So um, yeah, he's, he's flying at the minute and. 
you know, if we're going to go on and achieve anything, we'll need our, our goal scorers in form. So um, obviously, it's it's um, it's Ellis at the minute, and obviously Matty and Hadji have had spells earlier in the season as well. So um, say so we're going to achieve anything, we're going to need our goal scorers in form. Yeah, I think you mentioned uh, Ellis's hat trick goal. Made it for That was the most pleasing finish, but also the most pleasing build-up as well. A sweeping move down your left. Yeah, no, it's um, yeah a, a good move, a good uh, a good set from Hadji, um, and like I say a really good finish from Ellis. Probably a, a sign of you know his confidence. A minute, you know, at the minute, um, you know, a couple of months ago we probably might not have even taken the shot on. So um, we say really really pleased for him. You know, he's a good lad in the dressing room. He works hard, and it's good to see him getting his rewards at the moment. Mm.